fellow, it's uh, Lex, again, from Land River Lex. And um, in today's session, it's actually interesting, I said session, like I'm a lecturer or something. I feel like from my first video, which I did start in a Defender, but ever since, it's been sort of with this screen in the background. And that's partially because we don't yet, I don't yet have, an, uh, have a green idea to test. So for now, we are restricted to this screen and uh, I am restricted to acting in the capacity of a lecturer. But uh, hopefully it'll be more fun uh, in the coming months. But for now, uh, I am here to share with you uh, a few ideas and this specific video is dedicated to Grenadier and uh, I've identified one modification I'd like them to make to the double cab Grenadier being released next year, hopefully or two years time and also two additional options I think you should throw in there in the mix of uh, other options that have made available to us in the next couple of months so should we start? Let's see Yes, let's start. The first uh, additional option I would like is, and this comes from sort of my experience of one a defender and a defender essentially being arguably the most modifiable car ever out there. You can just tweak and change many different things. And I'm trying to sort of apply some of that defender experience to this. It may be wrong, it may, not, it may be right, I don't know, let me know what you think. And one option, and I, and I hope it's not going too far for sort of you purists, is could we, I think it's great actually, one thing, it's great that we have a, a checkered plate here. So you can sort of step on this. Uh, and then in another video, I talked about having a checkered plate on the wings here. Uh, that was my request to the aftermarket guys, but I think Gradia could also look into an option of having checkered plates on the wings. I think that'd be really cool. You can tell we've got checkered plates on the rear bumper as well. Because if I step on here, then do I then just step on here to access the roof or what do I do? Anyway, that actually isn't really my point. That's just a side point. My actual point is, could we have these, so we know that these sections, so these are three sections put together. This isn't one bumper. Uh, so if you were to have an accident, for example, then this view is that you can save a lot of money by just changing the damaged parts as opposed to changing the entire bumper, which I think is incredible. It's a great idea and thank you for doing that. But for those of us who want to play with the colors of our green idea, we want to modify it a little bit, could we have perhaps these sections or maybe this in different colors. So one example could be, this is a gray grenadier. Can I get this in sort of gray color? Possibly, could I also get the lights around in a gray color as well, or just in different colors, just so we just want to modify it. I potentially see people actually either respray these sections or just wrapping them. So I could potentially, if I were to get a silver color or other color, wrap this in black wrap this in black and have sort of an all black look going through there. And some may choose to just have a silver color running down there. That may be distasteful for some. But I think it would be really great to uh, have, multiple, uh, have uh, multiple color options for the bumpers, potentially for the lights as well, potentially for the grill. Uh, there are options there. And again, the same thing applies to the rear bumper as well. If you could give us those options, I think that would be amazing. So that's the first option uh, completed. The second option is a center rail gadget system. Now this picture, this picture here is actually from the Ford Bronco. So Ford Bronco currently have this thing here as an option, which I think is incredible. Why do I say that? If, I mean, this great idea has been built as the ultimate uh, overlanding 4x4 truck. And one thing we know is how do you use a 4x4 truck? You just have several screens and things like this. There's, this is really how people in real life who travel into remote places, this is how they use 
their trucks. This is how they use their grid, their 4x4, their Land Rover, their Jeeps. This is from a Jeep, I believe. This might be from a Jeep as well, I think. I remember what this, this is actually from a Jeep. It says Jeep there. So my point here is, we need something like that. And if I'm sure the Aston Martin guy would probably do it. But uh, it would be great if uh, Grenadier could offer that as an option. Uh, so that's largely the second one, but I think there are other things I'd like to pick up on before I move to the next screen. And that's the point around roof rack as well. I know Grenadier were looking to do, are looking to do a roof rack, but if you watch my other video in terms of my ask to the aftermarket guys, I covered the roof rack points there. Again, please just make it available to us. Uh, I think they're going to be doing it. I feel they might be backtracking or not. Side point, roof rack is a must, please do that. So, next slide, okay. So this is a personal plea from me to you. I am trying to grow the channel. Uh, I really wanna bring uh, out a lot of useful content instead of a very, very, very engaging content and share those with you guys. Uh, but in order to do that, I need as many subscribers as possible. Uh, so please, please, please subscribe. I know thousands of you watch my videos, but yet my subscription rate is very, very low. Uh, I'll be grateful if you can. Please just hit that subscribe button. And if you if you want, you can also hit the bell uh, icon. What that does is if I subscribe new, if I sorry, upload new videos, it notifies you. You then go on to view the video and comment and let me know what you think. But you don't have to. You could if you wanted to. Uh, my target is 1,000 subscribers by end of the year. So by December this year, I'd love to have hit 1,000. Please help me uh, to achieve that target so I can keep bringing more exciting and uh, lecturer-like and less lecturer-like <laughs> videos uh, to yourselves. Thank you for that. Now let's move on to the final point. This is more of a modification and this is split into two sections. So the first one is, I know, most of us know, that we're going to be getting a double cab uh, uh, version of the Grenadier. So it's currently been developed and I feel based on my experience of wanting a double cab and wanting to do various things with it, I'd like to make a modification request to Grenadier in case they're not thinking about it now to please consider this option, this idea. And the idea here is, I would like the back, to, the back, I don't know how it's going to open, if it's going to open down or sideways or whatever. I would like it to be as wide as possible. So there is a wide entrance uh, point. And the reason why I said that is for things like this, for example, where, again, this is an overlanding, well, arguably an overlanding truck, four by four, go anywhere, go everywhere. Some of us might, might want to sleep in hours or go on a uh, nature camping trip for two weeks. Some of us might wish to buy, you know, for example, a four wheel camper or other campers that we need to uh, attach sort of well drop onto the truck bed. In order to do that, we need as wide uh, uh, truck trunk space as possible. I think that's the way to say it. If I'm wrong, well, tell me what the right terminology is. The point here is we need this to be as wide as possible. So great idea. And I think they're probably going to do it. If I go back to oops, this picture here, if you oh, where am I now? Oh, there we go. So if we go back to this picture here of the Grenadier, if you look at the backlight here, it's, it sort of protrudes out a little bit and the other one also protrudes, protrudes out as well. So I feel if we can maintain this length, that would be great for what we're trying to achieve here. So if Grenadier can do that and make sure, that, make sure that's as wide as possible, but also make sure we can take this off the sort of the door, so to speak, that would be great. And then other things to consider is, if I'm going to be putting a camper on the back of my truck, I need as much space as possible. So what that means is, I quite like this as it is here, but I would like to have the option to take this out. So that space isn't wasted. And it would be great as well if these are all detachable, so I can take this out, take that out, take that out, and just put all three in the rear sitting area. So I have that entire space to show something like this and just sort of keep it there for the next couple of weeks. Again, I don't know if you're going to be doing it. I'm assuming there might be an option to have a canopy that sort of goes out and back here. That could be great. 
But ultimately, I mean, one final point, I'm just throwing ideas out there, is if you think about Rivian, the um, electric truck company that listed last week and is now worth 100 billion pounds, it's crazy. Uh, obviously, Amazon, Jeff Bezos invested in it and all sorts. And anyway, if you think about that, they actually have a really, really good off-road um, offering in terms of having a kitchen set and things like that. I don't think Gradient is something, something as far out as that. But any offering you can give, I think I must, I must admit, I did, I did rule out the table, the camping table idea a while back. I didn't see it properly. I realized it's actually, it's actually integrated into the rear, the uh, the, the rear door. If you can have something similar to this, whether the camping table integrated into the rear door, that would be great. But any other camping offering, offering offering you can give, I'd appreciate that. But my key points here are: let's keep this as wide as possible. Let's ensure there's a way to take this off so we can install our overlanding camper. Now, let's move to the second part of this point, which is this. So again, my ask here, I think it's already happening, is just to confirm that the rear tub can be taken out and temporarily or permanently replaced with something like this. So this, for example, this is a crawler CMP 190 I did flirt with this idea. I'm still flirting with the idea with an idea of building a truck similar to this. It's a, it's a company in Turkey and this truck just looks so, so, so badass and I want it, but I'm considering my options. I'd also love to have a Tacoma as well. I'm currently deciding whether to get a Tacoma uh, or get some, well, get a Tacoma and put this on it or just get a Tacoma, get a built in the US and put a four wheel camper or the campers on it. Let me know what you think actually. I'd like to possibly uh, uh, get a Tacoma built in the US, get a shipped to the UK. I think it's going to be one of only a handful of Tacomas in the UK and then just go over landing in it. I'm looking to sell my, my Defender, by the way. It's currently in the process of being sold, I think. And then maybe get another Defender and put this on the back of the 130. So I'm looking to get a 130, put this on the back of the 130, or get a Tacoma and put this on the back of the Tacoma. And the reason why I'm considering selling my Defender and maybe getting something else is because I live in London. We now get get charged uh, a ULAS, which is the ultra low emission zone uh, fee, which is twelve pound fifty a day. It's quite a lot to pay if you drive on a daily basis. So it's making driving diesel car less desirable in London, which I think has its advantages and disadvantages, but mostly disadvantages. Uh, so back to the point. The point here is, it would be great if Grenadier can build this back truck with the view to making it accessible for uh, the aftermarket companies and also the camping companies to be able to do whatever they want to do with an empty truck space. Now, that brings us to the end of this. Let me know what you think. Do you agree with those ideas? Send me other ideas you have. I'll look into them, make a video on them. And finally, as I head out, again, I plead to you, plead with you, please subscribe. Please, please, please help me hit my 1K subscribers target by end of the year. Thank you very much and adios.